Hi, glad to see you again. After selecting your tools, it's now time to understand the test automation structure to effectively organize test cases. This is very helpful if you want to build your own test automation tools. A test automation engineer has the role from designing, developing, implementing, to maintaining test automation solutions. In this chapter, you will explore the generic test automation architecture along with its four layers, including test generation, test definition, test execution, and test adaptation. So let's examine the first layer of the architecture, which is test generation, where you design, create, or generate automated test cases. You can script test cases using any programming languages, such as Java and C Sharp, in an integrated development environment such as VS Code and IntelliJ. But this relevant coding knowledge is needed. That said, how about manual tester who lack coding skills? In this case, your test generation layer should have a user interface to support test automation engineers. Thus, you can easily drag and drop or select test step action to design a test case with some clicks. On the other hand, the test generation layer should automatically generate automated tests by transferring manual step to a script. In addition, with tools like Catalan Studio, the test generation layers can even record manual step on the application under test to automatically generate test scripts. So, after preparing your automated test case, how will you manage them? or test data efficiently. Suppose that you want to execute a test case with a wide range of test data. Should your test cases be put in any specific test suite, such as confirmation or regression test suite? Moving on to the test definition layers, it is where the test automation solutions support the definition and implementation of test cases and test suites. Usually, it separates the test definition from the application under test in terms of source code. In fact, Teams have often ignored the importance of the test definition layer once they don't have as many test cases as they expect. In another aspect, the layer contains some means to take over both high and low level testing, assigning different test data to the same test case, also known as the data-driven testing. Besides, it handles the test procedure and test library component to verify our large volumes of data combination of each test case. Moving on to the next layer, it's a test execution layer which support executing test cases and logging automatically or semi-automatically. In this context, what do we mean by test login? The terms means that it records and updates the pass and fail status of the history logging. The layer will be useful for running automated regression tests on CI or CD tools, getting the result directly from these CI CD tools and then transferring them to other reporting systems. Last but not least, Relates to the connection between an application under test and test automation system, the last layer, which is the test adaptation, provides the necessary codes to adapt the automated test script for various components and interfaces of the application under test. It also provides different adapter for connecting to the application under test via API, protocol, or other devices. A notable example here can be called is TestOp. It includes the interface between test management and test adaptation layer, which copes with the selection of appropriate adapter in relation to the chosen test configuration. To conclude, a test automation solution is a software system, thus it can't be implemented like others. You can use any software engineering approaches, from structure to software technologies and tools. Furthermore, team structure and programming skills needed. It is important to understand that a generic test automation architect has four layers, test generation, test definition, test execution, and test adaptation. You may not need to have all of them. For example, your team is just about to start introducing test automation. You should combine test execution and test adaptation in one layers.